Yeah, really excited to be a part of it, to be honest. Um, obviously, it's a new concept, a new format. Uh, it might take a little bit of time to get used to it, but um, at the same time, it's really exciting. Uh, really you know, excited about being a part of it. Obviously, being at Birmingham you know, is a real added bonus for me uh, and really excited about what's ahead. Talk about those exciting games. You've played in one in the World Cup final. That had ups and downs. The 100's going to be a little bit like that. Will that send you in good stead? Yeah, I think so. Um, it'll be high pressure cricket. You're going to have the, the you know the world's best playing against each other, which is always going to be entertaining. It's going to be fast. Um, you know, we've seen that you know T20 cricket has evolved, and you know this hundred is just the next step in that in that process. So um, you know, it'll be exciting to be a part of, um, and I think it'll be a great you know great tournament and a, you know a great event. You know, a great spectacle for the fans to watch. You know, those fans, big stadiums, big crowds. We're looking to have one on Edgepass and they make terrific noise. You know all about that. Great pride to be able to represent Birmingham in this competition. Yeah, definitely. Uh, obviously, being a local lad from Birmingham, um, you know, delighted to, to, be, to be at my home home city, I suppose. Um, you know, Edgepass for me is, is home, always has been home, and hopefully always will be. So, um, you know, it'll be exciting to play in front of you know, a home crowd. Uh, you know, in this 100 ball competition and, you know, Edgebaston rocks when it's at its best. So, um, you know, really, really looking forward to, you know, seeing that in the 100 ball. You've played in two finals days. You, hopefully that sort of atmosphere will replicate into the, the normal game, not just the finals. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've had, you know, first, first-hand experience of, of playing at Edgebaston when it's at its best. You know, full packed houses, finals days, uh, games for England as well. So, um, you know, very fortunate to, to play at such a fantastic stadium with, with great fans uh, and I'm sure they'll they'll pack out the, the stadium for the 100 as well. Word on your teammates, you know two of them already, Moe and Ali, you've travelled the world with in England, Pat Brown, a young up and coming from Worcestershire, two exciting guys that are really going to help the team. Yeah, I mean, Moe speaks for himself, you know, world-class players, done it on the, on the, the biggest stage. Um, we only saw you know, what he did a few weeks ago and, and whacked 100 off, off not many balls. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing that, you know, you know, for Birmingham in the 100 ball comp as well and obviously a close friend of mine so I'm really excited to play with him uh, and Pat Brown is you know he showed how good he can be um, you know with his death overs uh, in the T20 recently um, he'll be able to take that into the 100 and hopefully take the heat off me bowling the death overs I'll give them to him but um, you know he's a he's a fantastic player um, you know and good luck to him and you know really excited to see such a young player come and show, show his stuff uh, at his best. And I know you're not the coach or the captain, but there's a great balance this side already. Yourself and around a mowing and around a Pat's going to bowl. That's almost 60 out of the 100 balls. That must be quite exciting. Yeah, I suppose it is. Um, you know, I haven't really thought that far ahead, but um, you know, it's exciting to see who, what the team has been made up of. You know, come draft day, it'll be interesting to see who gets the nod and who we pick up, um, you know, who we prioritise as players that we want. You know, and it's just to see what other teams will do as well. So, you know, the whole concept's really interesting and really exciting. So, you know, really looking forward to the draft and obviously really looking forward to the next summer where we can uh, get a part of it. And what's the gossip on the circuit? Is everyone excited for Is everyone desperate to get into one of these teams and play in this high-pressurised high cricket? Yeah, definitely. As you touched on, I think it would be great, the fact that the world's best they're going to be playing against. So we saw some of the names that put their name in the hat um, to be a part of it. It just shows that everyone around the world wants to be a part of this competition. So. Um, I'm sure it'll be exciting, it'll be fast paced. Um, and you know, I, I'm just excited about what it's going to bring to the game. Hopefully, it brings in new crowds, uh, you know, attracts new people to the game. Um, and we've got roles as players to try and, and make sure that we inspire that next generation. And this is just the next part of that.